12.2 miles in, incredibly high, so fucking high. But the running is the easier part. <laughs> Feelings are the intense, really, really intense part. There we go. I'm so fucking high. <laughs> Make sure I'm as prepared as I can possibly be for this. realizing I'm gonna be really high for the next six hours or so. So uh, I should probably do a little bit of work before I take the gummy. <laughs> it is 6.15 a.m. right now. So I might do about an hour of work before I take these gummies. It is now 7.10 and I think at this point I'm just procrastinating this fucking run. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's eat a bunch of edibles, drink some more caffeine, and and go run around. Also real quick, I was doing some stuff for our November retreat in the Netherlands. So if you ever wanna get super fucking stoned with me, join a dualist unity retreat. I'll put details down uh, down below. So if you're, you're interested, yeah, check that shit out. It'll be a fucking blast. Just a great ass time. <laughs> so excited to see some of you there. Hello, welcome to Gummy Run episode six. First time doing this on YouTube, but uh, I'll link all my videos down there. I've done all of them on TikTok and Instagram. But for episode one, we took one, two, two, three, three, four. Bitched out, didn't take four. And uh, for five, we, we took five. So for six, <laughs> we're gonna take six and run around New York City. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty fucking nervous. Oh my God. It's just like a lot of candy right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so we're gonna take these at six. Here, hopefully that's showing up. Let me make sure this is recording, so. Take these, take a shit, a little bit of warm up, and then just get the fuck out there. <laughs> so, anyway, without further ado, cheers. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much to eat, see? <laughs> Especially running around New York City. That was five. That's been my existing PR. <laughs> Six. And I do like starting to run before it hits me because then it kind of blends with the run. As opposed to for five, I waited until I was feeling high and it was not super easy to start. So I'm gonna get moving here pretty quick and get the fuck outside and just start. So I'll see you out there. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe I just took six. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh God. What have I done? <laughs> what I have in my pocket. Weed vape, keys, microphone. Yeah, when I'm super high, I always get nervous. Like, I won't be able to get back in. I'm going to forget how to, I don't know, do shit. Uh, it's so funny how if you're drunk, that thought would never cross your mind. And yet you're way more likely to forget something or do some dumb shit. But if you're high, you're so sensitive and aware. So it's just like letting those fears and concerns and thoughts go through you and not getting worked up about the concern. Not concerned about the concern. It's a big one. It's super helpful. So, all right, we gotta go now because I'm starting to feel a little bit. And we're off. <laughs> going to Central Park, and then gonna cut across the end of Central Park, going south, west side highway. Going good. Middle of Central Park, just absolutely gorgeous. About a mile in, and a nine minute pace. That's pretty fast for me for mile one. Usually I try and keep it slow-ish initially and then speed it up towards the end. Otherwise I burn out. Yeah, it's been about 40 minutes. It's been about 40. It's been about 40 minutes since I ate the gummies and uh, starting to feel stuff. I'm enjoying it though. It's all about perspective. If you fight the feeling, it's gonna get worse if you sink into it. Like yeah, this is, this is dope. You do just fine for the most part. <laughs> just left Central Park. Park staff now. Starting to feel loose. Maintain attention. 
I know it's gonna get more intense, but as long as I keep relaxing, I'll be good. Two miles in and maintaining that nine minute pace, realized that I wanted to go to the West Side Highway and I went east. So now I'm going back this way. Definitely starting to feel stuff. I am feeling a lot. But I'm, I'm wondering now if when you're high, you're just feeling more like feeling everything because the reality is that you're not divided from anything. Like nothing's disconnected in all of reality. So you're everything right now, separate from nothing. So when you're super high, you just feel more of that and how much faith you have in yourself to just relax. How seriously you take yourself for whatever reaction you have dictates how the high goes. But yeah, that, that relaxation is key. You don't have to focus on the thoughts. What if I ran through this? That looked way sicker in my head. <laughs> oh man. Three and a half miles in and feeling even more like deep, deep, deep insecurity stuff, like freezing up while talking, like completely forgetting what you're saying, like in an embarrassing way. That one runs deep for me for whatever reason, whatever experiences I went through when I was younger. Yeah, shit like that. So I think with those may come up, it's just realizing that like, it's not that the experience shouldn't happen. It's that there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with you if it did. It's like letting go of that concern about it, thinking that it means so much. That's the only thing that gives those deep fears any value. I'm so fucking... <laughs> oh, Almost four miles. It's like the back and forth between looking at thoughts anxious deep fears and letting them go and just relaxing and not really hearing any thoughts and then they come back up and it's just like a constant sort of relaxing through them but it's also you're not relaxing through anything they're still there it's just where you're paying attention you don't have to pay attention to them yeah i feel like i'm feeling everything <sighs> my pace is definitely slowed i would say fucking gigantic champ. and so if you're not disconnected from anything then everything in reality is an expression of you but not the you that you think because that's the you that you perceive to be divided, but the you that you are. So as you relax, all of you relaxes, like it's all you. Told stories to ourselves to distract ourselves from that reality. Everyone goes by me, right? I wanted to do one of those uh, running past videos. I feel like that's good to have on here. Oh, that was too close. Oh, yeah, I'm redoing this. I feel like I'm mic'd up at a, at a sporting event right now. Don't run into anyone else. <laughs> oh, it was on. <laughs> My mouth's super dry. Forgot gum. Major key. Gummy run. Bring gum. Eat gum. Keeps the mouth wetter. It's probably pretty loud, but I just ran past a live helicopter. <laughs> Freaked the fuck out. Like the thought of it. Losing control. I felt it cutting through my body. I kind of have to keep running. Because when I stop, it's like everything catches up and everything starts wobbling. It's almost like running is keeping me balanced. Oh my god. Yeah, very, very high. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of paranoia setting in that everyone's looking at me. But that's like so egotistical, whether it's the fear of it or the hope for it. Like no one's really seeing the you that you truly are anyway. <sighs> Just relax. You're already doing it. It's not another way to do it besides what you're doing. Just keep doing and relax from time to time. All right, I should probably keep running now. Ooh, it's quiet. Like, way quieter than any of the other parts of this. I feel like I have to whisper. My arm's getting really fucking tired. My mouth is dry as shit. I'm really fucking high. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm getting back because that would end up being like a 10, 12 mile run. I don't know if we have that in us. We are at mile six right now. My pace has dropped to like 10, 30. <laughs> yeah, my paranoia of people like judging you definitely runs deep. As much as I don't feel it as often anymore, like it's definitely still there. You really feel that shit when you're high. Like it brings up the deepest aspects of you, I think. And therefore an opportunity to let it go. It's like having clothes under your bed. You gotta pull that shit out. Look at it to deal with it. Otherwise, it's still gonna impact you under your bed. The room's gonna start to smell. Good morning, New York City. <laughs> starting to get that sense. Usually get this where I'm like starting to feel too high with things. Relaxing through that again. You gotta keep stopping in spots to talk or like going backwards. 
And so I passed this couple three times and now I'm like paranoid that if I pass them again, they're gonna like notice and think something's up. And uh, so yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> Fuck, I might have to turn around. Is that me being a bitch? No, oh, no judgment. We're going for it. Holy, I cannot believe I am out in public right now. <laughs> Does kind of feel like I'm just running through myself though. So that's been interesting. Getting very cold sweats right now. Yeah, really hot. <laughs> it's so fucking hot. Oh, someone else holding the stuff. This is so fucking interesting. Just feeling certain thoughts come up and like if everything is connected, it is just one mind and thoughts that are coming up couldn't possibly just be mine, but I'm just translating it in a, into what I think I am so I can take ownership for it and then fear it. So I could be hearing all of my thought, one collective thought. There's no music in my ears. I can't think of a beat. But I feel like I don't talk about the uh, bodily experience as much. I mean, I do with the intensity, but in terms of like running for the runners out there, right now I'm like seven miles in out and there's very little impact felt. I feel certain strains more intensely, but also feel where they're coming from. So it's like I can focus in on something and uh, kind of work through it a little bit. That's the body update. Oh, it's fun if you want it to be. 7.73 miles. This is 17 minutes a mile. That's like a walk. Am I moving that slow right now? That's on feels nice. Focusing on my body, environment, has helped a lot with the whirlwind of thoughts in my head that seemingly demand a lot of focus. But the lack of focus allows them to pass by 8.32 miles. Yeah, might be stopping it here pretty soon. I'm getting deeply, deeply paranoid. Anxious thoughts. Ooh. Ooh. Really intense. Shit. Stay relaxed. Focus on uh, movement. All right, let me go back inside now. Oh, there we go. Oh, Relax. Don't do it. Everybody gone to it. Relax. Don't do it. Everybody go. 11 miles. And, uh, I think I might walk for a bit. I'm not moving very quickly. 1450 pace. Yeah, this is intense. Especially in New York feeling disconnected from my potential. Two hours, 19 minutes, 23 seconds. Distance 12 miles. Average pace is 11.37 per mile. Just hear that. Thank you, lady. You're good. 12.2 miles in. Incredibly high. So fucking high. But the running is the easier part. The feelings are the intense, really, really intense part. There we go. Oh, I just went through a deep whirlwind, like deep fears. And it hit me, it's not about the fears, it's about relinquishing the thought that there's ever anything wrong. What's going on? There's a flow to things. You are. No reason to doubt it. No right or wrong. That was not my thought. <laughs> my thought was in each and every moment, get the opportunity to buy in to the illusion of control through thinking or letting go of control and just being aware of where you're at. Everything else is a distraction away from the only thing you can ever experience, ever. How willing are you to just be here? 13.1 miles, that's a half marathon, baby. This is a high dose. Would not recommend this for a leisurely jog if you have any sensitivity to weed. <laughs> I stopped recording my run on my watch. Just doing like a walk run tour the rest of my way here. Yeah, deep, deep fears coming up. And it's just potential ways to distract you from experience. It's like we're dealing with ourselves always, collectively going through the letting go of fear, investing in vision. So fear of death has been coming up a lot. It's a deep one when you're especially really young, sperm. <laughs> At very low odds of surviving without the investment and heavy investment in yourself kind of see yourself from the third person just you as scenery no differently than anything else <laughs> that's free Ooh, i've been better than a little bit faint we're gonna find some food 
I really hope this is making sense. Making sense in what way? There's no guarantees of how someone will perceive something or hear something that you say, right? There's no normal, there's no uniform, no matter how bad we want there to be. We are re-entering the city. Already more paranoid. We're good though. One step at a time. It's not that serious. Doesn't this kind of look like the parking lot in the Matrix? Or Neo's like right here? Or am I just tripping my absolute nuts off right now? Possibly a ladder. My gooch is chafing so fucking hard. <laughs> Might have to swing by a CVS and get a gold bond. I feel like I'm bleeding. This cucumber lime, Pedialyte, or Electrolyte is fucking awesome. It's so good. Very good. I got this one. I like whispering. I just I feel a lot. Right now. Riding it though. Riding it. This whole thing I'm always wondering like, oh, is anything I'm saying even making any sense or is it even like coherent? And just hit me. These videos aren't about what I say, it's about just being out here high off my fucking sack. And continuing on. I donh no, just fucking continuing to do it. It's like even if you're not relaxed, just keep doing it. Keep going. We'll get through. Not that there's anything to get through. But there's no journey. Just here now. Get this. We're like five hours in. It's still Good. Really good right now. Got one of these grandma's chocolate brownie cookies. It is so fucking good right now. Just real. Realize that I'm on the wrong side. Uptown one. because my taint is torn up. You need gold bond powder. Gold bond powder is an aisle 10. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Aisle 10. Let's go. And they have a CVS brand. Now realizing I need something way smaller than this. Like a travel size. Shit, I did see travel stuff over. Do you have a smaller size of gold bond? I think it's kind of the travel size. In the, in the travel section? Alfred, thank you. Knew it. Oh, look at that. Powder. Not gold bond, but it'll have to do. I've been standing oh, here for about five um, minutes. I didn't realize they had breakfast. Got the breakfast burrito and avoided the crumb cake. This has been fun. It's a lot of fun. If you ever want to get baked with me, come to a retreat. They're a blast. We're back. It is 1.25 p.m. So it's about six hours since I took them. Yeah, still very high, but anyway, peace. I was eating this burrito. It's fucking insanely good. I forget the place that I was at. I'll remember it and put it on the screen, but I was like eating it, took a bite, so good. And I was like, it's kind of wobbly. And I just kept eating it and didn't even think they fucking cut it in half. Now I got holes. I got holes in my Rito. I got holes in my Rito. I got holes. I got holes in my Rito. Holes in my Rito. Hope my burrito don't fall through.